Hi guys, welcome back to another mukbang with Spring Roll Fever. Okay, so the last time I did a mukbang and it got crazy views, so I'm gonna do another one. Did a little seafood boil. So you guys know I've been using Chad's Cajun sauce, so that's what we have today. He also had sent me uh, Chad's Cajun seasoning, so we are going to sprinkle some of that on here. We used some of this base in the actual boil. I already know this is going to taste so hot. Bye, cha. Okay, so we have some blue crabs, some clams, sausage, sacra, scramps. Also, Rep Cambodia has new shirts and new gear on their website, so if you wanna say 10% off, don't forget to check the link. So in all my videos, um, you guys, Ask me how do you eat the shrimp okay so obviously I just broke it right and then some people don't do this aka sucking the head of the shrimp but I do so oh yeah and then I feel like the last few times I've gone to eat um, seafood with my friends aka my white friends I always end up having to peel the shrimp for them because they're like, how do I eat this? I'm like, I guess I never really thought about it because I always, I mean, I grew up eating seafood, so. All right, go to petite. Mm. Sauce is really good today. Take a bite out of the uh, sausage. Some sacra. <laughs> mm. So good. So a lot of you guys ask me what kind of sausage do I buy? I buy kielbasa because I like the casing around it. Okay. Clams. Ooh. So my favorite part of the clam is this stuff in here. Some people like to cut it open and get rid of the, the stomach, but I like it. Put it to my claws. Open up this one. Blue crabs. I felt like blue crabs today. I didn't feel like getting stone crab. Um, I don't know why. I think, like, personally, I really like the flavor from blue crab, so, but stone crab, if I'm, like, trying to get down to business, then I'll do that. Huh. can't really figure out. You have to be really careful too with um, blue crabs is, I feel like you can always like stab yourself or something. <laughs> like die because of all of the like little bones in it. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys what happened today when I went to go to the market to get the crabs. And the guy who doesn't speak like any English, he's seen me, he always like gets the crabs and everything for me. So today he was trying to like sell me this dead like lobster, lobster. And I was like, sir, it's dead. But he kept pointing to the price which said $3.99. So, in my mind, I was like, $3.99 for a dead lobster. I don't know how dead it's been. I could I could be, um, you know, swayed to buy this. So he was all like, mm, mm, you want, you want? Needless to say is that, what he, I'm gonna show you what he did. He had the lobster and he was all like, 
examining it for me, like I couldn't even examine it myself. And he was like, I was like, no, <laughs> I was like, I'm good, sir. I'm good. I was like, why did he have to go smell the dead lobster? That was so weird to me. So how you know it's a female crab is because it has this little apron. Let's rip it open. Ooh, look, it has all of the kit in here. People love this orange thing. So let's get some. Put some pie in there. Yummy! All oh, the guts. Not everybody eats the guts. That's okay. So the last video I did with mukbang, I showed you guys how to crack open um, a blue crab. So we can do this a couple other different ways. So we can just pretty much snap it together, right? Like so. And then what you want to do is you can also break like this just be careful because you don't want to die right and then what I like to do also is pull this piece because this piece right here has like the most meat Get another shrimp. Also, just a tip <laughs> when you guys are sucking the head off of the shrimp, just be really careful. There's like this almost like this sharp fin to the shrimp, so you don't want to suck on it and then start bleeding. So, I'm just giving you a heads up. <laughs> The shrimp has good flavor because I boiled it with some of the chicken bouillon and then I used some of this Chad's Cajun seasoning. So it has like different flavors. when I make food like this it makes me miss my friends from Florida because we always I swear we ate seafood together like every single week so Derek Marquita Sydney if you guys are watching this I miss you guys Ooh. yeah that's the best part Okay, so let me just tell you guys about my neighbors. I love everybody that's on the first floor because I feel like they're those neighbors that have been living in the area, in this building for like ever before, you know, everything turned over. And um, I trust them because they know who comes into the building and who is not supposed to be there. So when we first moved in, everything kind of seemed like hunky dory my first concern was that the dogs uh we have two dogs they bark and they're just like old and anxious like one's just a yorkie poodle so he just likes to complain so the first couple of weeks we started living here everything was fine all this stuff and then when we both started going to work um one of the neighbors pulled me aside i don't know why they got pulled me aside so she was all like oh you i feel so bad for your dogs they just when you guys leave they just cry and cry and cry and i'm like oh i'm sorry that they're barking like blah 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 whatever they're they're freaking dogs right she says it to me again 
like the following week, okay? So I'm thinking like, okay, lady, we get it. So we thought, okay, maybe she's just, I don't know. She doesn't like work and she's home. So if the dogs are barking, then you would hear them. My thing is there's five different floors in this building. Every floor has a dog that barks. So you mean to tell me that you're going to address me? Are you gonna be addressing all these other people? I don't know. Now, the weekend that my friend Derek, who you guys have seen in my videos, came to visit, they were just riled up and all this stuff with, um, you know, Derek and Sydney being in town. So we went to go eat dinner that evening. We came back and tell me why there was a yellow line piece of paper, like sticky note stuck to the front door of our um, apartment that read the following statement your dogs are barking incessantly underline underline so two underlines for the word incessantly somebody's got some sat words and then it goes your dogs are barking incessantly and all like all of this is in caps by the way please make it stop underline 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 now I ripped off the um, sheet of paper and I was like, who in the fuck put this shit on, the, on my door, right? Cause I wanted these nosy ass neighbors to hear me um, say some shit. So my wife was all like, come on, let's go inside. Like we don't want to like start no business, like no drama up in here or whatever. <laughs> and so I was just shocked that somebody put something on our door when they could have just had a conversation. Now, I don't think it's the lady who addressed me because she don't got time to be doing all this shit. Now, I didn't tell you about the other neighbor we have who was talking shit to the super and said that, oh yeah, those are the, um, that's the apartment that the dogs always bark. Okay, but then she's crazy because when we walk outside, she says hello to the boys like, oh hi puppies. Oh, you're so cute. Bitch, are you crazy? So I think she's like, I don't know, bipolar or something. The other part of me is like, okay, I get it. They're barking when we're not home. So it came to the point where the super told us that we had to take care of the noise. So I was like, okay. We had to buy not one, but two noisemakers so that would drown out the noise from one, the living room, so that the neighbors couldn't hear any barking. So now we have to put the boys in the bedroom with another noisemaker so they don't hear whatever noise they think they're gonna hear that would cause them to bark. So that's a solution that I, I mean, it sucks because they're in the room all day and they can't really go anywhere while we're at work. I think my annoyance is that somebody took the time to write this nasty letter when they could have been grown, like we're not in college, like come have a conversation with me, you know? Instead, you wanna be petty and write this note on a yellow line paper like we're at school and post it on the door. To this day, I don't even know who it is. I just be looking at people in the eye like, did you do it when they walk by? But I don't know, people just weird. Oh, I didn't tell you guys, so the, first neighbor that I was telling you about that kept saying, oh, they just cry and cry and cry. Turns out she was keeping a dog in her apartment, not a dog, like a puppy. And we only knew that they were hiding a puppy so the puppy ran out the door when we were coming up the stairs. Guess what puppy is starting to bark now that it's grown a few weeks older? The next door neighbor's dog, whose name is Princess, and she barks all the fucking time. So I'm like, so when I see the lady, I'm like, oh, how's Princess doing? Mm -hmm. She knows that I know, that she knows that I know, that she knows that she tried it. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I'm gonna eat the rest of this for tomorrow cause I didn't even make it like a big dent. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to do, you know, food, vlogs, comedy, all the above. A little bit of variation for everybody. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Okay, bye!